everybody, this is Dr. Lenore Sikorsky and I would like to welcome you to If Talks Could Talk. I'd like to um, tell you all about talks tonight um, in this presentation. Um, we'll be going over some of the science of talks and we'll also be talking about some of the properties of talks. Basically everything you ever wanted to know and maybe didn't want to know, but will know um, about talks. So the first thing about tox is that um, it, it, it affects muscles. So um, over the weekend, um, I drew this picture. Now I know I need to keep my day job, but um, I wanted to show this to you because the muscles are how tox takes its effect. It's the combination of the muscles and the nerves and how they interact at a place called the junction between the nerves and the muscles. And so we need to know about the muscles. The muscles in brown are the, the muscles that actually elevate um, the face and the blue are the parts of the muscles or the muscles that depress like the brow or depress the face. And then there are these muscles, which I thought were really interesting. There's two muscles that are circular around the eyes and around the mouth. And they actually help you know, close the eyes and purse the lips. So these are kind of special because they are more like a squeezing muscle. Um, and then we have the muscle over here called the master muscle, which actually is used um, for biting and uh, mastication, but it also could shape the face when we do tox in that muscle. So this muscle is really interesting because it has a part of it that actually goes down and a part that actually raises the eyebrow. So when we do tox in this area, we have to think about what part are we affecting? Is it the part that's gonna help raise the eyebrows or are we doing the part that's going to potentially uh, you, you know, drop the brow or keep it at even state? So I thought this was really interesting. The way the muscles work and how they move um, is very important because it affects where we put the toxin. So I'd like to talk about the four D's of the toxins. And the first D is dilution. So when we make our toxins, we have a choice whether we put in a little bit of dilution or a little bit more or a little bit more. So you can take the same unit of toxin and if you put in more water into that toxin or more saline into that toxin, then you'll have more spread. So the more you dilute a toxin, the more spread you have and more diffusion you have in the muscle. So this is a very important aspect of toxins and can account for, in some areas, why you would wanna have more spread and in areas where you'd like to have it much tighter. The second D about toxins is the depth that you put the toxin in. So it's really important to get the toxin where the muscle and the nerves meet. So at that point that the nerve and the muscle meets, there's this release of acetylcholine that binds to the muscle at what's called the motor end plate. That is where basically, as Willie Sutton would say, the money is. So you're going to get your biggest effect with your toxin if you find the area where that nerve and the muscle meet and where there are the most of these um, motor end plates. And actually it's so fascinating, anatomists have figured out in some of the muscles of the face, but not all, where the most in a muscle, like is it in the middle of the muscle? Is it in the right or the left side of the muscle? Or is it below the muscle or high in the muscle, on top of the muscle? So we now know all these things about the anatomy. So we can now target with our toxins where we want to be as far as depth. So this is really important for efficacy and for longevity and for maximal effectiveness of the toxin. So the third thing I'd like to talk about today is dose. Dose is very important. We want to get the right dose in each of the areas that we're uh, treating. And we know based on dose response curves 
done by all the toxin makers that a certain amount of toxin will produce an effect for so long. Like for instance, in the gabella with Botox, if you put 20 to 25 units, you'll get around three to four months. If you double that dose to 40 units, you'll get about 50% longer duration. So we know that the more toxin you put in, the longer the duration. So the fourth D is direction. So by direction, I mean some muscles are um, go from deep to superficial and they can go in like an oblique pathway. So when you do the toxin, when you put it into the muscle, you can sometimes actually guide your um, toxin to where you wanna be and you can come out even at an oblique angle or you can come out more superficial. So direction is very important as well to get the best effect from your toxin. Just in summary, the four Ds of toxins are dilution, dose, depth, and direction.